I don't know, just a little creek. Yeah. To we're talking, we're talking oh, like tsunami way. Gosh, we're, we're talking about yeah. it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Was it Wyver home? Is it my same? Oh, Wyver Dam. Yeah, yeah, the it, walls it, are falling down. The walls are just opening up. Yeah. Like you found the Wait, right what, of, <laughs> end of the night wall. No, what, yeah, what up, walls? Gushing. What walls are opening up? What, what are That's gushing? a good day. I'm right? going to, I'm going to leave that up to your own interpretation. Yeah. nothing like but you would just let nothing it, would you just I think that's slide. the the best thing to do but just it, to figure out for yeah, yourself it's, e it's easy for, for to be like you go with the whole it, there's plenty of fish in the sea sort of thing and th there is you know if someone's not right for you they're not right for you but isn't it good to get an understanding of maybe something you could improve on that they maybe didn't like about you i'm not saying that you should wean toward that way because we're all built differently but if you have a trait that you could probably work on would you not like to get a bit of clarity I, over that? I think it's a great idea. Like yeah. brutal self-analysis. Just like, what yeah, was well, I doing wrong? We weren't going to work anyway, probably. Yeah. But what was the things that were pissing you off the most about me and why we definitely couldn't have gone for hmm. I think maybe one of the things that I do well and do badly is not look back. Hmm. So I think like, all right, moving well, on. But like that will what, fuck what's me up. In, because, what's in the past is in the past. Right. Yeah, because then I'm like, okay, well, I've made the same mistake three times in a row and I'm not looking back at it. And that's what I'm But, but it also about. helps to, yeah. I, I don't know. That's what I'm more or less talking about. Trying to not make the same. Welcome <laughs> back. Welcome back. Number G'day. five podcast in the world. Still with a coffee. I've had a lot of coffee and not a lot of sleep. <laughs> get it. Let's what a, go. What a combo. Let's go. The working well, man's the, combo. Uh, let's get the vibe up. I'm caffeinated Bang. and close to collapsing. Yeah, so, we and we had, that. what was it, Tomorrowland Tiesto playing in the background just to get us back in the mood. Mm. Let's, mm. let's go. Mm. Let's go. All right. Um, but cool. where, yeah. we, where are we starting from? Uh, so are we going to well, continue no, this conversation? Uh, yeah, we can We can do that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. All right. This is a good good topic because it, we're, as put far me, as going the corner. clarity, no, as far as going for clarity goes you're philosophical as well Dino, and you probably i feel like you maybe know me sometimes better than what, I do myself we, we sing the gandhi dinner yeah the dinner gandhi without the um bathing with under underage women that's not my style like gandhi but probably not a bad thing uh, be careful <laughs> but why do you come to me for because clarity? i don't i don't have that like inner they're thought. looking they're not looking back yeah the, the, it shocked me that you Never thought to be like, or you don't even think about, yeah, Self I, wonder, I wonder what it was that that's not going to irk you. Because I would be like, in my head, like you probably were like, what was it? Why would mm. they just fucking just Absolutely. ghost, not respond? Why? But it could be something else in their life. Like I'm under- but That's, that's too that's, rational. Yeah. There's always, there's always, like they, unless you reach out to them. Say for example, you're in the uh, situation where they reach out to you. So they've reached out to you for a reason. They, they have some general interest. And, and by reaching out, this is not a business sense. This is I'm not, not <laughs> a networking sense. This is a... <laughs> we're not talking... Very uh, communicating we're not talking, we're not talking LinkedIn. Media. We're not talking yeah, LinkedIn. it's not a LinkedIn connection. It's a Snapchat. Well, I'm reaching out. Someone's reaching out to you on Instagram. And she messages DMs. you. DMs. DMs slide. You slide, slide in the DMs and you're talking and talking and talking. You, you catch up a few times. And before you know it, you're, you're really progressing quite well. It's three or four months into it. And well, we just jumped. Oh, we've been three or four months, mate. I've Let's never ever gone that long. But yeah, sorry. All right, all right. Yeah, but keep going. Sorry. It's a short, yeah, short term. term short I want to hear this. Short term or long term, whether whatever you've grown and developed between you and that person, if all of a sudden that person just stops talking to you and they don't have any try, they don't try to reciprocate any conversation. It's one word. Maybe if they do mm. respond back, it's one word response, and you go on. What's going on here? Would you not want to know what the problem is? Even if, even if it is personal stuff, if if she, if if the answer if the answer is going to be, look, I've got things going on, I can't be with anyone at this point in time. Would you not want to know that? I think I've just understood why. Like I don't, I didn't care, right? And it's because I've never had anything for four months, so yeah. I think I actually just don't yeah. understand. I, I, no, but, but I, also, I, you would assume even, it's just something going on with him. I think you would just assume. <laughs> Yeah, you were something wrong with them. Like just yeah, something but, wrong but, with them. But probably. also, I've never like been that invested in anyone, like other than my family it's and friends. Even like I'm okay. What about like you've never had the hurt? But it's, it can be. Yeah, but it, so, but it, so maybe that's why I, I can't potential, relate on that potentially. Note. But potential. I, I, I slightly disagree because it can be short term as well. I was yep. trying to relate. <laughs> <laughs> that's by, relate by saying I've never been there. <laughs> potentially, potentially. But it's the same thing for short term as well. You you have you 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 know your attraction's been. 
thrown to someone in particular and then after a while if you're seeing them for a bit or you're talking to them every couple of nights and they just stop talking to you wouldn't you still feel that hurt of oh look they don't have an interest anymore what's going on yeah i completely agree but i will say i feel like this person doesn't have a reciprocating enthusiasm or engagement in the the relationship that i thought existed so then yeah. i'll just stop so that's how, that so that's how you perceive it to be that's that's sort of how i would yeah. break it down yeah, yeah. How, how do you see it though you you want to understand you just want to make sure there's no flaw with you yeah i used to i used to i used to inherit the the idea of let's just let's just leave things where they're meant to be left because i don't want to cause more drama or whatever it may be if that's i have probably. caused drama to start off with but Am I the reasoning for the drama to have started in the first place? That's why I like to delve deeper into things. And, and if I can kind of build myself from that and get an understanding of maybe I shouldn't be doing this or maybe I need to take it easy and not try to look at it as, as a relationship as such and just try to progress in that way rather than holding too high of expectation too soon, maybe that's something I need to take on board. That's why I do that. The, prob- the, the only problem I see with that approach is then you're giving that person... They have all the power over what happens going forward. Because if they then just decide, I just don't want to talk about it. We're done with nothing. You're always going to be lingering and thinking, what was it? Unless you're able to just you... move on. Having having a bit of both, if you're able to get that clarity, it's good. Mm. But if you're not, that's if that's something that's really worrying, that's going to be like a real pain in the ass. Look, I'm not saying so, giving the entire the, the reins entirely. I'm just saying understand their point of view. Maybe get your point across I mean, as well. It, I'm saying that even when you're broken up, like if you've stopped seeing each other and you just want some more yeah. information from them, half of them probably aren't going to give it to you. You're probably not going to get it from everyone. Everyone won't be willing to speak necessarily. And I and I agree, but Which I think be, maybe yeah. maybe sometimes you just it's just trying it's worth to trying. get something yeah, out of it for sure. Me myself and I, the song by Jeezy, solo ride until I die. Who the hell is Jeezy? It sounds like Jeezy. It sounds like some <laughs> no limit. I'm a fucking soldier. Oh, no, it sounds yeah, like I'm some soldier. shapes. Limited edition Jeezy. brand or something? No. I think Luke just said he's going to be single forever. That's the goal by the sound. Cheesy. Of- no, but, no, but that's, Cheesy. that's the way I see it. It's like- Isn't that when you watch a, a, chick, no, a chick flick? G-Eazy. Cheesy. G-Eazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> that's, that's the way I see it. It's like uh, some songs I go into and are like, you hear the meaning behind it. And I feel like that's one of the ones where it's almost like you're in your own lane. And that's... Up for interpretation. What do you mean? Someone but wants like, to jump in your lane with you. Yeah, but it's uh, like you're the only one that's going to look out for yourself. Say it again. Say the line again. The name of the song is Me, Myself and I. Yeah. Solo riding until I die. Like like you're the only one that Solo will really, really look out for yourself. That's real philosophical. Like no one can care about you as much as you'll care about yourself because no one has as much interest in it. That's that's, a, <laughs> that's if, a, you, if you are if you are looking at it phys- philosophically, it's it's kind of like it doesn't matter what people perceive you to look like and do and sort of stuff, and it doesn't matter how much shit people give you. You go your own path. You could be you could be enticed by someone to do something, but at the end of the day, you make that end decision. Yeah, you know? I, th- I think there's there's freedom in being unattached to other people's. Uh, I I. Because people will project uh, ideas onto you as well. Other people dictating 100%. how you feel and think yeah. about things is like is dangerous. Like you've got to be solely, like, or not solely, but most of what you do, almost ignorant, it ha- like it ha- rudely ignorant. It, it doesn't have to be ignorant, but you have to be like, "This okay. is what I think. I'm open to interpretation to change it, but I've got my ideas, and you have to convince me otherwise." You've, you've got to find your own ground. Yeah. Don't let again, other people again, dictate your life. Again, if you if you want to alternate a few things over time, for sure. But you don't want to lose yourself, lose what you've built. Anyone wants you to change, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. immediately. Like if they yeah. really want you to change, like important things no. about you that make you you, no. it's probably not going to work out. Like you've got to be unapologetically yourself. That's Let's come bringing it back. That's one of those other things. You know how people say in a relationship, "Are oh, you make me whole." <laughs> no, that's You're not, like, this that's is dangerous. bullshit. That's, that's bad. Dangerous. That's bad because, like, what if what live. if something like you know you hear someone who's been in a long term relationship, they go, "If I didn't have you, I don't know what I'd do with myself." Mm. Like, do you really want to become that reliant on that other person? It's it's definitely a tough way to be. Like having that much. Oh, that's giving you all that power to that person. Like they dictate your. And and you're giving them additional pressure. Imagine if someone was 
was falling out of love of someone <laughs> and every second day the bloke saying to the, this this uh, simp is saying to his girlfriend, <laughs> this sad boy, he's, he's, on, he, he's literally walking around on the floor with a leash on. Yeah. He's saying to his girlfriend every second night, I love you so much, baby. I don't know what I'd do without you. And she's in a situation where she's like, mm, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> better prepare yourself. <laughs> but, but also just, yeah, almost forfeiting yourself mm. yeah. saying you're not, you're subhuman until not good enough. someone else puts you together. I don't it's not healthy. I don't I don't think that's healthy in does, a way. Does Jess make you whole? <laughs> <laughs> She's a great addition to my life. There you go. That's, I think that's the way it should that's, be. That's it should that's, be like we are okay by like we would be okay by ourselves, mm. but we really enjoy living life together and moving forward together. That's I what agree. I think is healthy, not like I need you or else I don't know what I'll do. Because that, that's dangerous. And that's yeah. I that would agree. be terrifying if like I needed mm. someone else just to be able to function. Like you've got your own routine, mm. but another addition is to be in a relationship with your partner Jess, which is a fantastic thing. But you're happy with your own sort of thing that you've built. That if something were to occur, and nothing will, because you guys are fucking <laughs> fucking. Clear as crystal. Holding it down. Oh, hold hold, it, it hold down. the fort, mate. The, the, mis- fort. the missing piece of the puzzle. But you've got you've you've developed such an, an amazing sort of self thing that you enjoy doing that it wouldn't matter. Yeah, because you don't want to you don't want to be the guy who saves the girl. You don't want to be the guy who's like no. giving them the life they could have never had. Like you want to be living with each other, hundred percent. Not like for each other. Is that a thing? I think like, so. Yeah, you're not like I need you, Mutual. but I really like Mutual. having you. Yeah. And even sometimes you see it as well, like in marriages and you wonder like how often are these husbands or wives going home and actually want to see the person that they're going home <laughs> so, to? Or man. is it just that the living arrangement dictates that? Yeah, they are roommate too, occasionally sleep so, together. <laughs> so interesting because I know a few people that I believe like their parents stayed together during schooling. And then as soon as they graduated, they... Part of different that's ways. the thing isn't it like stay together till the kids are mm. old enough to be able to take it but to me that's that's crazy because like the kids can sense that you two don't love each other and want to be together Absolutely. like is it better putting on the front that okay so if you get into a relationship you have a kid with someone if you can't stand them you just stay together and be miserable because that's the right thing to do whereas i think now most people can live separate lives the kids can go in between the houses it's not as good as having a happy home where mm. everyone's happy, mm. but that's better than having a home together where the family are actually completely dysfunctional. Our parents are together. I don't know. Like, I oh, feel t- like it's hard for... But I am aware of... It's difficult for us to, comprehend. to get comprehend. But I have a very close exposure to people where it's I not know, that. Yes. And where it's like... And I it understand can still what you be, mean. It could still be that. I understand that it'd be happy if everything was perfect. But I would rather have known... And they just didn't love each other, so they decided not to be together. A less and they both environment. gave us a good family. Like We're, they both loved us, but they weren't lying to each other mm, for mm. us. We, we made <laughs> because of me. They were together for eighteen years. Uh, like I, on me, that would be more painful than me if they just faked it. Wouldn't that come back to clarity? Yeah, what we we're talking about. Before. I want honesty. Post you- not clarity. <laughs> so, I have no idea <laughs> of the actual clarity. Yeah, clarity. <laughs> They have both real clarities, but what's to me, a, it makes more sense. What's just, a post not clarity, what do you mate? Mean? What's that? You've never come to that realization? <laughs> Literally come to that realization. Very punny, mate. No, I know what you mean. Coming. <laughs> All right. Let's, um, <laughs> I need to get something on my chest. You, you mind if I say something? The platform yeah. is yours. All right. Here we go. Links Africa. I'm going to say I still use it. Wow. But does it actually gain attra- t- attention from the opposite sex? The ads, the ads, the ads prove the point that it does, but it act, does it actually work? Is there a way that it can be tested as well? How do you I test that? Do you get like what 10, 10 women line up in a line up in a row? Oh, you know you could. You know how you've got the <laughs> you, you've got like with the dog in the middle, and you've got the two owners, the husband and the wife, and they both run in opposite directions and see what which where the owner dog goes. the dog follows. Oh, what, so I got in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> What, have someone, <laughs> you Link, you Link's, Link's Africa over here, someone Rex else Rex owner, see where they flock to. Oh. That would, that's probably the only way. You've got a split test, A, B test. Because that's advertising done right. Like Link's Africa, just, their whole thing was, <laughs> you're going to be so attractive if we just... That could be one of the Link's. greatest 
marketing campaigns of this year. Because kids still it's use one of the that. most relevant. Like 14 year old guys are still rocking it. And Christmas. Also, 22 year old men are still rocking that one out. But that, that's since I was a child. Since Lynx Africa was the shit. I mean, I never bought Christmas into gift. it. Christmas gift. I always got it for Christmas. I, I always I only ever got cologne. The, you, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you get the, the shower gel, you get the scrubber. Yeah. Ooh. And oh, as you go with everything else, you get the socks and undies, your, your standard Christmas gifts. But that's that's the uh, the Christmas the package in a whole. Yeah. Never a good sign for Christmas. Like as a kid, you're like, oh fuck me. Look, I never want the clothes. I I didn't buy a deodorant or a cologne until I was like. 24 Real? like it was always was. just gifted bro we thought it was the fucking mold on the roof or some shit <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy no mold on the roof okay i'll talk a cologne i never bought cologne until i was like 24 like i always had such a backlog from presents a backlog. i've always been always been gifted you need a cologne. discharge mate I, well, did you Jeez. pull up when you went to school did you put cologne on no no, no what are you talking not, about what do you, when do you use, how socially hang on how while i was like before 17 yes but not while i was at school yeah, that's what I mean. Like, because he's not when I went to his school. Because his voice was his you, voice was still yeah, like this. What are you doing with your life? That's so important. You got to put cologne on when you go to sport. Come on, sport and school. What about what about the the hot female teachers? What about them? I don't give a fuck. The, they like how I smell. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we share a same schooling experience in terms of went to the same school, but no, I don't you, know who you're referring how to. How much of a difference does the scent make? The cologne that you're wearing make. I struggle with that because I go to the a chemist warehouse and and smell the testers and I don't, I don't know any I can't smell any difference at all. They all smell the same to me. I just go by. We're going back to the whole branding thing. I go by branding. You know, make sure it's not too expensive. I go for maybe a forty to eighty dollar range, but I can never smell the difference. What do you go for? I go for the same thing. One thing I just tried and used, or I grab four that are two dollars each, and I don't give a shit what they how, smell. How, Cologne? Is that even? A well, thing? If we're talking cologne, are you, are you getting cologne? No. Methylated spirits? Oh, let's go. It's cologne. I still don't buy cologne. I don't even think. You I, don't, get... I don't think I wear cologne ever. I'll put deodorant on. I never wear cologne. You Real? Get my, Where's you your get my style? Natural... Where's your class? If I go, if I've got it gifted to me, I'll use it. So that's what I'm using now. So it's a gift. I'll never buy cologne. Is that because you're real, you're nice and comfortable with with your I'm, partner too, at the I'm too comfortable at home. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't care less. Why have sit... I got to smell cologne to people? Because you go. Like... You, you guys, you, you see, you meet a new girl for the your first time. You just go, "How's it going?" That's the thing. That's the thing. I think I'm too comfortable for cologne. I've outgrown cologne. I don't need cologne. My natural pheromones and deodorant are all you need. I beg to differ. <laughs> I think it makes a big impact, though. On what though? On who? and what situation? Do on you, a girl you, when you're going uh, out? Sure. Mate, do you ever it. do you ever smell something and it takes you back to a certain place? No. I agree. I agree. Yes. No. Your nose is fucked. Yeah, my nose is. I will fu- say no. that. <laughs> Takes me to a place. I know. I know. I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking you about. You smell something. Shit, that reminds me. There's nostalgia. Some sort of yeah. There's a nostalgia behind this one deodorant I have, and it takes me back to a holiday I had in Dubrovnik in Croatia, and the smell just brings it back. And there's this soap that reminds me of being at the beach at Nana Granddad's house. Mm. There's certain smells that mm. will. It's almost a visceral, visceral <laughs> reaction. You go straight back there. As long as you don't smell perfume from from a former ex or something. I know. I, I can. I can. I can, um, I can relate to that. Oh really? Yeah. Oh man. Just ruined the whole experience. Like, uh. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't mind the uh, strawberry scent, but oh fuck! I can, oh, that's why. That's why I, I know it. <laughs> I mean, I don't care enough about that kind of shit. Like cologne, I don't care about smelling fresh to random people. So you went on a date recently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you told me... You, this is probably on. one of the best things I've ever received in a message. What did you What did you say as a re, as a voice recording back to me on Messenger? No, so so <laughs> Jaden Jaden goes on a date. He uh, it went well, and he and he's telling me. And when you hear that a date went well, you it sort of goes down the same path. Yeah, we, we had great conversation. We were vibing. Mm. Uh, the conversation was always uplifting. There's no, there's no dead track, no dead parts in the conversation. Mm. He said we, we were in the flow state. <laughs> Smooth uh, like, flow. What? what? The flow state. The, the flow state that the programmers are in when they're writing a code. That, they're doing, that the flow state that they're in when they're 
editing a video for 12 hours. Look, 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 mate, mate. Let me. Uh, to, it was phenomenal. To give me, to give you a definitive answer. I, I knew exactly what you meant though, but I've never heard it. It was just like, I wasn't thinking about what I was going to have to say next. It was just like, bang, 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 bouncing off. It was just flow state. You've been listening too much to yesterday. <laughs> yeah, well, I felt like I was to yesterday just whipping the decks around. <laughs> and it was just perfect. Everything was working. It was perfect. Seamlessly transitioning. But it was flow state. It was just bouncing off one to another. I could, I, I can't think of another word to, to describe what I experienced. I mean, that's fantastic. Flow. Phenomenal. Lots of good, good for you, but it was just like, huh, I've never heard that be used. So what? You've never hit a flow state before? No, 100% I have. Uh, I didn't expect it to be used in a dating sense. Sometimes, like, people We had great flow. It. I feel like that's a common thing. You think the conversation you flows? You want flow state. Flow state's a mindset where time is no longer a, a existing. A it's no longer a idea. You know what? Yeah, I think... No longer... What 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 do you reckon happens though if you start to overthink or overanalyze in those situations? Then, because like if you if you know that like say for example we're talking right now we have fairly decent flow state because we're just bouncing off each other in terms of topics and ideas. But if we sit here and we just start to think and overanalyze, that's when you start to stop. In, in you the, know what I mean? In, yeah, in, no, I do. In Completely. the moment, it might it might be okay. You might get away with it because if you're able to recover well but afterwards once you've stopped talking to him you'll probably be a wreck because mm. you'll be thinking about everything over and like, was i overthinking did i not talk enough to it? if you're in a flow state where you're not even thinking about it during it afterwards you'll be much more relaxed i think but during it if you're thinking about everything you're like oh that felt shit that felt weird and they might be thinking oh that was nice oh that felt all right mm. like overthinking is like the devil mm. overthinking is the devil S- simple like <laughs> I'm Mate, sure it was six, fine. Six, 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 six. <laughs> it's funny when you're talking about overthinking, overanalyzing. Luke was actually talking to me about how do you end a date? How do yes. you know? Yeah. Like, how do you know when to end a date? And it's actually like a really good thing because sometimes it's better to end a date after a couple of hours versus four or five hours. Yeah. When do you know what's the pro- what's the prompter you use to know or how do you wrap it ha- up? Or how do you read someone to know that it's the right time to wrap it up? I mean, that's a tough thing. General's thing. not yeah. the person to... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> right. One successful long-term yeah, relationship right, right So here. when you when you met Jess for the first time, when did you know that enough was a night for the for the night? I think when the flow state started to die down. Like when we started to struggle to like... Flow state. Flow state. Just, it, it makes flow, sense. He's when, using when flow state. When the flow starts it, it doesn't to count. We've go, when, it. <laughs> when you're kind of struggling for that, then you just... If you say you're sitting down eating dinner, then you go for a walk. If that's... If it's still struggle, then... You got it. Look, the dating advice isn't immaculate right here, but when you when you when it's starting to become hard to talk, mm. it might not necessarily mean that the chemistry's gone. That's, it's just that's you, a good point. You're kind mm. of over that state where you've got at everything you, that flows naturally in that time. You come back, you do it again another time. But I think when the flow state starts to die, let's mm. bring flow state into dating terminology because it's I love it. It's good. It makes sense. Once the flow state goes, then you try and wrap it up. It's easier said than done because. You probably like them a lot, and it's gone really well so far. So you're probably going to linger around and try. There's probably probably no better way to say it, no way, better way to put it, because once you've once you can't you think heard of it here first, copyright that bad boy. <laughs> when when you can't think of anything to talk about, and that's when you actually start to think, mm. oh shit, like where can this conversation go from here? That's probably a good point when you say to them, hey, what do you have planned tomorrow? If they say blah blah blah, do you reckon it's a good time to wrap it up? Be keen to catch up again. What are your thoughts? See you later. Yeah. It seems like the most like logical thing to do. Whether it's easy to do in the moment, it's hard. It's it's, it's difficult because sometimes like it's just a good time and you're enjoying yourself. But as someone who likes to have good time management, I don't want to spend four hours on a good date. I'd rather spend two hours on a good <laughs> your date. Approach, <laughs> your approach is you, hilarious. Like you've got you you're looking in the diary. Yeah, this is my time management. This is my schedule. Fuck, we've kind of exceeded here. And, I, I did really enjoy my time, but I'm not going to forget that you made me spend four hours when I could have spent two. No, like, this no, is. No, no. Get I'm back sorry. To, look, you're great, gotta, but you're gotta get not going to fit the, in. Got to get back to the grind. It's just no, it's fine. I, I, get, I get exactly what you're saying, Luke. But the way you think about things is so unique. <laughs> it's so different. Like, <sighs> Mate, time, you did, you, time is of the essence. Most people have a date. Like it'll be if it's at like a date at night on a Friday night, 
They're thinking, I've got that whole night. Whatever happens, happens, it's good. You're like, if I can keep this three hours, bro. Like, that's the perfect day. Three hours flow state. At, at the end, we're just like, all right, I'll talk to you soon. I'll uh, meet up later, but I'd like to I'm nail the 90-minute date. 90-minute date? 90 90-minute date. Minute day. I feel like you should go to one of those places as a, speed dating. Yeah, as a first, that's that's very efficient. You get seven dates done in 30 minutes. You'd be exactly. fine. Let's do speed dating. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> but what can you do in 90 minutes? As a first date, I think that's tough. That's I don't think any girl's going to have your perspective where it's like, I'm glad we only spent 90 minutes. I really like him. I'm going to see him again. Mm. Like, he doesn't have the time for me already. We've started dating. He can't spend more than an hour and a half with me. Is that what they're thinking? I feel like I would think that if I was a... Like, anyone would think that. That seems... But you... You're you did, rushing you me through. You two-hour date. 90 minutes, two hours. Like, same, same. But I didn't, I didn't go to, on the date expecting to, to wrap it up within two hours. I was, yeah. I was going off how they were feeling. So, I think you can pick up straight away. As I was saying, when the conversation dies, that's when you kind of say... Because I was sitting down... And I was like, oh, do you want to go for a bit of a wander? So you go for a wander and see where the conversation goes from there and whether or not they're the first person to, to take the lead and wrapping it up or you're the second, or you're the first person. That's when you kind of make that decision. Or you want to be the first person. Surely. You can't be like... Well, I wasn't. Really? Yeah. Oh, so it was Shit. wrapped up on you. Hey, don't make me... I'm going to start overanalyzing, mate. Come on. <laughs> this, let's just leave this on a good note. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to think back to my first day with Jess. I think I think we had like three separate like three separate flow states because I picked her up. It was about a 30 minute drive to get there. In the car, like the conversation was good and flowy. Kind of stopped till we got to the restaurant. It was good and flowy there. Then when that kind of stopped, we went for a little walk and it was good and flowy there. And then that's yeah, it's like it flows like different changing the environment by getting up and going for that walk. And you still more just created to be talked about and more mm. was I was on that's fire maybe, that night maybe, too but I think my jokes were on fire that night too I really <laughs> reined her in that's, I think that's when you like if you jump into another environment that's when the flow the flow just goes from from like uh, I don't know just a little creek mm. to we're talking we're talking oh, like tsunami way gushing we're, we're talking about wet. it like <laughs> yeah. was it Wyverhome is it my semi oh, Wyverdo Dam Wyverdo. yeah Wyverdo. the walls it, it, are falling down the walls are just opening up yeah. like you found the Wait, right what, of, <laughs> end of the night wall no, what, yeah, what, walls? what walls are opening up what, what a that's gushing. a good day I'm right. going to I'm going to leave that up to your own interpretation yeah. okay we know then yeah. that's because easy. because <laughs> good work but we get what you meant the reference before the innuendo but there no, but like it, it could be up. It just keep, just yeah. you, you find your own environment, and that's when the flow just goes from mm. positive snowballs. Change the tempo while keep them gushing. All right, well, this is this has been a great little conversation. I'm gonna bloody change this before it starts to get a little uh, bit worse than what it is. Is social battery a thing? What the hell is a social battery? Yeah, explain was, the concept because I'm about, vaguely familiar. But so I'll, well, what do you mean? So I was out Double last a batteries? night. I was more or less. I was out last night and. In the toilets, there's two guys. They're railing Let's coke go. off the toilet. But anyway, Let's go. 2021. Yeah, they're railing coke off the toilet. But they were having a conversation too. I was pissing, <laughs> and you yeah, overhear it. And they're talking about social battery, and they're like, one of them is like, "Bro, I can't go out there again. Like, I just can't deal with it." He goes, "I feel like I have this thing. It's a, like a social battery. Like, I just can't keep talking to people, rehashing the same stories." And I feel like that's a pretty relatable thing. There's definitely something to that. The, the term social battery I haven't really come across. I think... Um, Is that a thing? I think... Oh, well, first of all, before I get into it, did you ask them if they want to be on the podcast? Surely. <laughs> no, they're in the cubicle they, railing coke. Imagine that. Imagine, a business like imagine if we had two blokes just, just railing coke on this table. <laughs> like, that, I mean, would be, that would be quite some sight to see. Ruffle some feathers. But I think, I think social... I'm not going to even read the definition, but I think what they mean by social battery is... Dinner's case. Let's, let's talk about Dinner's case because I know for a fact that you prefer to be at home at times whereas pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and going to social events and all this sort of stuff. Whereas you find something that you actually do enjoy doing going out, like say golf. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about Oof. how, we were talking about Bring it getting, getting on the bevs, doing par three or the full course, which I don't even know how I'd get through, but you're doing something social that you enjoy doing. Like that's when your battery, your like your level, like battery level, will be at its full capacity. Versus going to an event that you don't necessarily want to go to, but you feel obliged to go to. You might be at like middle ground, and then it might veer to like the the end of like the drainage level. Mm. 
I get that, but it's such a it's a weird concept to me because it'd be such a fluid thing for me. Because say say this thing applied to me. If I went out to a party, I didn't know really anyone. I knew maybe two people. Mm. I arrive at this party, and I knew no one. My social battery would be basically empty. I'd be like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even mm. like really want to start spark a conversation. I saw those two people I, I knew. I would talk to them, and then I'd probably be like up here, mm. and from there I would probably stay up there. But like, it would just really depend on situations. Like, I don't go into like, okay, I'm full. I'm going to go start talking to people. One story, it's gone down a bit, it's gone down a bit. Like, I don't know how they're approaching this battery topic or what, how we even think of it, but I th- well, it would be so, so... Speaking for dependent. the guy railing coke in the toilet, yes, he was please. just saying he's sick, of, he's sick of rehashing the same story to different people. Mm. So I think it is in the sense of just meeting people and it does get exhausting just does. dying over the same shit. Yeah, yeah. trying yeah, to the, explain yourself what you do seven different times to eight get, different, pe- or yeah. seven different people. Oh. That's a tough thing to do. Oh, I, yeah. I would I would say my social battery is pretty low right now after being out last night not sleeping. Mm. And you guys going to leave. So, <laughs> so, so you Boys, were, I'm done just fuck off. So you were in the, <laughs> I'm you, exhausted. you were in the chamber of secrets with these two guys. Yeah, yeah. Not three quite. o'clock. I was, I was on the urinal, I was on the in and out. But Yeah, uh, right. Yeah. It, it, it did make me think. because like, there's probably something behind this. Yeah, like, I, let, let us know down below if it mm. applies to you. But it it sounds like the concept had legs. It sounds like like a psychologist come up with this thing, and uh, it sounds like there could be like a theory about social battery out there, in terms of people like introverted people or something I, like that. Introverts would struggle was, a lot more. Mm. I was about to say, it probably depends if you're an introvert or an extrovert. You know, in your case, when you're saying that your social battery would be at its almost full capacity, if you're going somewhere where you know people, you'll you'll straight away go to them versus talking to someone you don't fucking really particularly want to, you don't want to make an effort versus someone who doesn't care, likes to get out of their comfort zone and just the moment they see someone new, they just go, hey, how you doing? And they don't have to rely on having a bev to do that. I, I wonder how I'd react now because the social budget I'm talking I'm thinking about when I was like three, four years ago. Right. Because I haven't been, I can't remember the last time I've been somewhere where I haven't really known anyone and I'm just depending on that one person to rock up for me to feel like, I feel like now my social battery would be even higher. Just something about being older and like less giving a fuck what people think older. and being able to older. talk. Older. I'm not, I'm not old yet. I'm like, I'm not wise yet, but it's also a young anxious thing too, where you just like, you don't know how to explain yourself, what you do, you care so much. <laughs> I think by doing think. this though as well, this improves your social battery. I'm sure. Like just conversations, even at work, like having a conversation, easier. we're just talking to anyone. You just learn how to Because at the talk. end of the day, what are we doing? We just are in a chit chat. Yeah. So like we're, we're forced conversation for entertainment. Mm. So like... Oh, I'm sure I'd be a lot become, better now. It just becomes easier. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon it'd be a lot easier for me now to just strike up a conversation there. Yeah. Like, like the, mm. I'm so good at not putting myself in a situation I don't want to be in, so I, I'm you not looking for this. there. Well, to, for what? Like that's, what? That's my point. I'll go to your party, <laughs> man. I'll go to party of people. Like, I'll do that. But COVID's also helped me not have to do these things. <laughs> that's true. Mm. But like good ones, I'll I'll go talk to people now more so than I would. But the social battery, I think the mm. idea is there's something there. Yeah, no, I agree. What would you rate yours right now then? Right now? Yeah. In this context, I could talk all night. My social battery is very high. I agree. I'm the same. To go I'm very talk, much the same. To go talk to someone I don't know, low. It's probably low. Like I couldn't be so bothered depends on striking who you speak up. To. A, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the actual theory would be but so it drains you guys quick with, it drains quick with strangers and people you don't know it doesn't drain quick it starts off lower uh, oh. starts off almost empty for me see i beg to differ because when i when we did the like my first episode with you guys and and i just met you for the first time i just it was good hmm. straight off the bat you know and it didn't feel like i was trying to force out a conversation hmm. i guess it depends on the people like some people are more introverted than others and extroverted mm. than others and this is what so, i said that last time too like I know I have to be in a conversation with you as well. So that's another dynamic because you're going to be part of the show. Like I have a vested interest in communicating with you and learning about you. Like as opposed to a random person at a party who I might not see again. I get, I get what yes. you mean. So you, like I'm put, more eager to talk yeah. to you because- You put in a scenario where yeah, you have to, yeah. Yeah, but it turns out we click. It's good. That, that would happen with me with a random at a party if we clicked. But this we're in that situation. So I'm like, it's fine now anyway. Like I don't need mm. extra motivation to do it. It's very, it's very like, interesting even thinking about it myself. Mm. Dental, Luke, I need to ask you something. This is, I, I, actually want to, I honestly want to get your honest opinion on this. 
definitely nothing to do with what we just spoke about, but organic food as a whole, when you go to the when you go to the fresh food aisle or whatever it may be, even even looking at eggs, you got your organic eggs or caged eggs. Do you honestly believe in the, the label or the believe in the organic label? Do you think they just put it on products to to up the price? It's, it's I interesting. So. I don't know. Organic, I don't know. Free range, like cage. I trust the free range label. I don't how know do why. You, I don't know why. I'm indoctrinated. They've they've got me. How do you trust it though? Like we, like what? How do how do you know? What is what is a free range egg? It's, like they're not like, caged. Yeah, yeah, so that means they're not standing on top of each other, or does that mean exactly. that they're actually got a, a beautiful this green is, paddock? This is the thing. Who knows? In fucking Nick, Nick, one Nick, of the. Definitions? Do they do they uh, class them under the gag orders? Like you, journalists aren't allowed to go into abattoirs and film what's going on because it's too confronting and people would be in uproar probably if they saw what was going on and mm. the way we get our meat. Is it the same with chickens? I don't know. Some what? of them say they got live feeds. Looking at these are the chickens laying your eggs. We believe this. Well, it's funny because you had those vegan activists not long ago. They stormed one of the abattoirs. I don't know where it was, but that brought so much media attention and uproar because they know that if they get found out, they're going to be in the shit. Mm. There would be so much behind the scenes stuff because you've got the standard way, the the humane way of culling an animal. You know, I think they've got the uh, tranquilizer or like, whatever. Uh, like, needle like or a, something and it, it, it just like... It's like an air bullet to the head. It that just desensitizes them, them or something yeah. or like whatever it may be. But as if it would work 90... Like ninety nine point nine percent of the time, there'd be there would always be a point one percent of the time where something would go wrong. Yeah, and you know, if in that instance the vegan activists were to march in, they would be in the shit. Yeah, it's it's a weird thing that they can just say, "No, you can't film that." Like you, oh, we want you to be open about everything, but we're not going to tell people how we get. Yeah, this thing. I mean, I'll still eat meat because I'm an asshole because I don't really care. Got like as I, I, if they're trying their best, it's like it is what it is. Like we got to eat meat, and they got to feed a huge population. You have to. How, how do you do that? Hundred percent humanely, and that every animal has the perfect. I don't think it's possible. So it's like, what do you do? No. What do you do? But yeah, have you found anything? Have on you the- found something? Yeah, I'm just looking at it now. It's hard to dissect. So you, you've got different accreditations for free range. Mm. Oh, interesting. And they vary from unaccredited, which is maximum indoor stocking density. So this is the thing. This is the thing. They sell you on Bullshit. free range, which is a green paddock that's yeah. endless amounts of space and fresh air. But this is what they measure it in. Birds per, birds per square meter. <laughs> like, <laughs> automatically. So there's, so there's, so there's, so there's still What's no room. 30 there's still birds no room. per square meter. Automatically. So unaccredited is 40 kilograms or 20 birds at a harvestable weight of 2 kilograms. What? So if the average weight of a bird is two kilograms, you're allowed twenty birds. So forty kilograms per square meter. Per square meter. What? That's a free range, and that requires twenty three hours of continuous light allowed. Number of audits per year, zero. <laughs> what? No way. Yeah, number of audits per year, zero. What's the highest? The, level? RS- oh, yeah. the RSPCA indoor is thirty four kilograms or seventeen birds at harvestable weight per square meter. And environment enrichment, what the fuck does that mean? Yes, I don't know. Um, minimum four hours of continuous darkness required. What does that mean on a bird's life? So it allows them to sleep? Yeah. Who actually goes but, but in and checks? The chances? RSPCA indoor is the most strenuous, the highest order. That's process the highest, that's 17 because, birds per. Because they have four in the first year and then two at least thereafter. So they have audits at least. So they're, they're being audited. But what's 17 birds in a square meter look like? They're obviously caged on top of each other. Or are they out, is that still outdoors? I think it after us. Yeah, uh, I believe so. Look, I don't know. I mean, a lot of chickens have to. The mass genocide on chickens is happening just so we but, can uh, have a ten dollar chicken every night. Like that's. I'm not. I'm not buying into it. That's what it is. You're not buying into nah. the free range. Or you're not no, buying, buying into the chicken. <laughs> you're oh, double chicken. I'm just not. I'm not buying into the the organic label. Yeah, but it sounds like the organic label is just like it's, it's a, scheme, a piece of shit. It's a money scheming idea. Or but free it, range it could be like, better. I don't know. I mean, like, how can you like? Okay, with let's talk about red, like red meat. How can you class this is on red? Choice.com.au if you want to pass that out. Oh, choice.com.au. Okay. Very nice. Menus. But red meat. How do you? How can you class organic meat to be red meat? Like, because like, isn't 
how do you like what's humane yeah, what's, what's inhumane and what's an organic cow what's an inorganic cow what do they just, just do they just fed? do they just stuff like a cow with like plants and leaves and all this stuff and, and I'm, yeah i don't I, know I, like how organic i'm not i don't know i know grass fed they're fed grass they not grass fed remove like the grain. preservatives and it's weird it's weird these the labels that we just choose that sounds like that that is they're doing the best they can. Well, because you like maybe like, they are. Like say for example, like you go to you go to a cafe and you might be like, oh, I want to, I want to have a healthy smoothie, and you see oh green smoothie, or like you go, you know what you mean? Like where you How go, does the green it sells us I on health. I don't sure. know. Or if you're someone who's trying That's to lo- lose weight and they go, oh, would you like to have the fat blaster smoothie? And it has nothing to do with losing weight. And you actually look into all the, like the like how much. You put it into your system, it'd be like fucking a couple thousand cal- yeah, like kilojoules. Of sugar or you know what I mean? Like, but you you buy into the name, organic. That sounds really healthy. That sounds like it'd be good for me. I'll buy that. I Thank need you. to look into this because it seems like we. It is just marketing. Is it? Do seems reckon, like I don't know. Like you said, uh, you buy it into for the health, or do people buy into it for the handling of the animal? I don't know. I, I don't it go seems shopping. Like if so the handling really is better, it's just do we do we know it's better? I think that's the I, whole point. I want proof. I want oh, if I Do, want to buy into something okay. organic, I want to know for a fact that they're actually being looked after well. If you could be promised that the chicken that you're buying is it's got that beautiful paddock that we envision Oof. in our mind, that green paddock. In Mykonos. <laughs> Wherever the fuck in fucking some green paddock. <laughs> if they actually have that, would you be willing to pay eighteen dollars for a chicken? If they could be if these chicks are treated like royalty. Would you be paying eighteen dollars? Eighteen, because that could be the cost. That's a good question. I would say yes, but at the same time, they all, they end up at the same place anyway. What do you mean? These these they, chicks they, take, they, take they get cold. They, they get cold. They get, yeah, they get cold regardless. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna get killed. But are you willing to pay more for a good life for that chicken? <laughs> but it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think the answer is I, I, no. I'm not. I'm not willing. I'm not. I'm and like, I don't think it would just be eighteen dollars. I think it'd be like thirty dollars. I think I the, the markup would be. I would. Crazy I think it would be. High. I think it'd be real high. Yeah, and would, that's the thing. How do you feed a population of our, even our size? I would rather just. I reckon one day you can just do like your self-sustainable farm. Yeah, you have a little chicken. You Get got some, some chicken. Yeah, cows for <laughs> okay, big farm. <laughs> you got train a chicken to look after the cows. Yeah, yeah. Get a and, cattle dog. That's yeah, in an abattoir. Yeah, you have your own little avatar yeah. in the shed. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's just, All right, that kids, just we're killing the cow today. Yeah. That just, yeah. You want to see okay. where your food comes from? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You probably wouldn't have a lot of meat if you had your own little farm going on. You'd probably have chicken. Well, if you look at um, Chicken Run, the old, the old movie, they, I think <laughs> what Chicken Run was made by Wallace and Gromit, so it was all Play-Doh type stuff. But what was her name? Oh, Mrs. Tweety. Um, what's it? Uh come back to you little bastard <laughs> no chickens escape from Tweety's farm she had like a little setup that was pretty good like she had the whole the the, the chicken pie setup like it's possible yeah. I think Luke you got potential mate you can have a chicken farm I don't think you can have cattle farm though kind of mm. pigs it goes pork I think it'd be lamb maybe good like retirement type type vibe just set it up if, you, if, if I'm balling I'll, yeah, I'll, you got I'll someone looking after it for have, you. Have management, <laughs> and, and every month I go down there for two nights and swim by a lake and and feed chickens and throw them a little shit. Organic, they eat. organic, <laughs> of course, organic. And then and then you get good meat out of it. Look, you you find out the difference between organic and non organic real quick. You see what the difference has been your whole life and if it's been worth it. Mm. You just make you can make like a clothing brand, a clothing merch, and deem it to be organic because you're using the the fur of a body, the hemp oh. of. <laughs> That's might, what they use. Might the be, hemp of a plant, yeah. yeah. Might be easier and cheaper to just go hunting, Luke. Just go hunting, mate. That's get one thing you, I like to do. Get yourself an mm. elk. <laughs> for the boars or whatever it is. Like, you know how people want to hunt boars? Yeah, you know. can hunt boars. You, you can hunt kangaroos, I'm pretty sure, in Australia in some parts. Can, where yeah. They're oh, yeah. Overpopulated kangaroos in the middle of Australia. Like What, you can go for little yeah. old skippy? Oh, yeah. There, there are oh, hordes pest. of kangaroos. In what? Pretty yep. sure central Australia. Like... You get to a, a, I don't know the hordes. areas, but there's a, yeah, I've heard a lot about that. And they're a pest. They destroy like habitats and environment, like crops and shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure people get paid to go shoot kangaroos. Well, they some of them are big usos. I think the last time <laughs> I, I think the last time I brought up kangaroos was I saw this video on Facebook of of this this bloke going after the kangaroo. And he's he's full like it was full Rocky mode. He's doing these ones and just whacks him in the jaw. I think, and fortunately that. enough, that the kangaroo was 
must have felt sympathetic towards him and didn't kick him in the balls. And then <laughs> that was about it. But they're big boys. Yeah, big boys. Yeah. <laughs> no predators. <laughs> I don't think they have many predators. So they just. Other than the bull bar on it. the car. Other than the bull bar. You do see the, the bull bar. <laughs> the bull bar and a nice land cruiser. Chance just, encounter. No well, chance. Bull, wow. Organic bull bars. Oh. Straight the future. From the well, yeah. there you go. The abattoir on your land cruiser. <laughs> bull horns. Could like you imagine you selling, part se- of selling a car that's been modified with a with an organic bull bar and organic LED lights, mate? Well, fucking up the ante, up the price. Look, I think the problem is that wouldn't last very long if we hit, a, if we hit an actual kangaroo. There goes uh, what kind of bones are there? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. We may nice even have, yeah, we may even have to cut that last a little bit as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how good that was to put in, but ah, fuck it. Who cares? Is it a is it a wrap or? Yeah, that's a wrap. I yeah. think that's, that's a, a good wrap. That's a good wrap. <laughs> I think it's a good way. I to feel like it. a chicken wrap now. All of a sudden, I don't know why. It's a, well, I'm actually you said chicken pie. Like, I'm, I hate. actually kind of want to reminisce and, and watch chicken run now. Yeah. <laughs> While you're eating a chicken from Woolies, just ten dollars. <sighs> Chicken run whilst eating an organic chicken <laughs> and having a chicken and, pie. And, and it wasn't 40 kilograms of chicken per square meter. It was actually 85. Oh, from whilst, making, indoor whilst making my organic scrambled eggs sandwich for the next day. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, I'm hungry. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We'll catch you next time. Ciao. Hit that bell button. Just keep it organic. Hit Remember that. Button. Smash that bell button. Hit the subscribe. Bang. Send it. Fuck, that was pretty... Mm. <laughs> that was fucking funny. Mmm.